Hello everybody, welcome to another great episode of my world famous coffee reviews here on Hillbilly Select Reviews where I review a lot of stuff. If you look at the playlist, you are going to find something that you like, I guarantee it. Today's coffee, 1850 by Folgers. What's this supposed to be? Black gold, bold plus dark chocolatey dark roast. Mm. Uh, okay, I'm just looking to see if there's anything else. Go all in with a bold yet smooth blend of 100% premium Arabica beans with dark chocolatey notes. Alright. <clears throat> it's true back in the day, <clears throat> um, a lot of coffees from the supermarket were the cheaper Robusta beans. And they weren't very fresh. Right. You got what you got. It wasn't bad, right? I drank it to this day still. So we're always looking for the best one, right? So Folgers is a part of what company? I wrote it down. It was interesting. Uh, Smuckers. And it's sold in the U.S., Canada, Mexico. And it's the best-selling coffee since the 90s, okay, uh, in the U.S. Um, and that's all the info I got. We're going to try it. So it's, their, it's Folgers' attempt at uh, going after the premium coffee market by using not only Arabica beans but using a instead of a fine grinding cheaper way to grind it they use a steel cut system and they use a slow roasting technique so between the cutting the roasting and the selection of the beans is what they're trying to do uh, with this 1850 this is a K cup and let me show you the uh, what the K cup looks like right there All right. So you saw the box. K-Cup's not always the best. Now they have this in whole bean and already ground. Even better. But this is very convenient. We noticed, right? So I got to do it. Here it is. Look how dark it is. Yeah, it's even got a little head on it. It's got a really nice coffee, dark roasted smell to it. Looks like dark cocoa the hundred percent cocoa where it has that cocoa smell that just just a nice actually a nice smell it actually smells like rich coffee it really does let's give it a taste All right, I'm going to tell you something. If you look in here, it's almost gone. I've been drinking it. I bought it to review, and then I started drinking it, drinking it, and I'm like, let me do it before it's gone. I like this. I really like this. This is a bold flavor. It's strong, but it's not strong in the sense that you think a coffee maybe is being bitter, real bitter. It does have a nice, smooth chocolatey taste with all the I don't want to say burnt toast by any means but just well baked biscuits um, just a nice rich flavor it really is it's it's a lot stronger than a lot of matter of fact I had this today earlier and then I followed it up with another uh, brand. And the other brand tastes it like water compared to this. This is a really good cup of coffee. It really is. I'm, I'm, and this is out of a K-Cup. 1850 folder. You try it. You like a nice bold coffee? Give this a shot without all the bitterness. Now it's bitter like all coffee, every coffee. But it's not bitter compared to how much flavor you get. You know what I'm saying? So instead of like, oh, you got extra flavor, but you got extra bitterness. No. You got a lot of extra flavor with the same bitterness. Just a light bottle. I just don't want to. I like to co taste the coffee. All right? I just don't want to make you think there's no bitterness. And all. You're like, oh, this tastes. It's going to be rich, but you're not going to get a lot of negatives. You're just going to get a lot of positives with the flavor. Unless you don't like strong coffee. I just added heavy whipping cream. I'm going to see. And I know it's not going to. If it covers up the flavor or enhances it. Well, this is very strong, so I doubt it's going to cover it up. This is a good one if you like a nice black coffee. Or, I guess if you put sugar and cream, 
but you still want that coffee to kind of shine through the sweetness that you're doing. If it's a flavored creamer or some sugar, but you still, you know, you don't want to water it down to where it just tastes like the sugary creamer. So this, I think, is going to give you that coffee topping through your additives. All right, everybody. It smells really good. It smells like a nice, fresh, brewed cup of coffee. Shines too nice. So I get that creaminess and that vanilla and that sweetness of the cream. But I get that power to coffee shining through with the nice undertones. I like I like the Folgers uh, 1850. I do. I like it. Try it. Let me know what you think. Is it too bold for you? Is it like, wow, this is bold, but, you know, I like that flavor coming through. Uh, especially if you're using any type of uh, additive to your coffee. So, from Hillbilly Select Reviews, Folgers, 1850. Give it a shot, everybody.